Should we start with the bad ones first or with the good ones first? Hello my lovelies, bonjour and welcome back to another video. My name is Tamara if you're new to my channel. I guess this is going to be the first video of 2020, so happy new year. I want to wish you just a lot of happiness because no matter what happens, no matter what stage of life you are in, if you're happy and at peace, it means that you're doing something good. Of course, health has to come with that, so I want you to be happy and healthy. That's the most important. Today's video is one of my favorites to film because not only I get to show you some fun stuff, but I also get to kind of reflect on what were the good purchases, what were the bad purchases of the last year that will hopefully prevent me from buying or making bad purchases in 2020. Though I do not guarantee that because a lot of these bad purchases were really not down to me. I will elaborate why they were bad purchases as we get to that. If you like watching these kind of videos, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. Um, you could also click on the bell, a uh, little kind of like picture, because that will mean that you will get notifications whenever I publish a new video. I try to publish at least two videos a week on Wednesdays and on Sundays, so you will have plenty of content in the new year. Should we start with the bad ones first or with the good ones first? This is really tough. Let's start with the good ones. Handbag that I think was one of the best purchases of 2019 is my Green Kelly handbag. And this is Kelly 28 Epsom Sevier. I love this so, so much. I honestly wore it a lot. And I can say that it was one of the best purchases of 2019 because I got it in January. So I had 12 months to decide if it was a good purchase or not. And so far, I have to say that all of my um, Hermes purchases in 2019 were really, really great. Well, I can't really claim for the last one yet, just because I got it for Christmas. But everything else was really amazing. I wore all of my bags a lot. Every time I got a new Hermes bag, I had this kind of like a guilty feeling. Sort of like, am I just buying it because I know that it's so hard to buy it? Or am I buying it because I really, really love it? And it always showed that I'm really buying it because I love it and I wore each of my bags a lot. I think like I never really asked for kind of like a black or a beige bag even though I think they're beautiful and then when I see them on other people I think they're beautiful but it just doesn't suit my personality. So this was one of the best purchases of the year and it started my year in a good way and I'm so happy with it. Talking about handbags, I have taken out one as sort of a bad bag purchase of 2019 but it's not really bad i love this bag i just have not worn it more than twice and it's the bottega cassette bag now i also have two pouches from bottega and i really wore those a lot but just the cassette i haven't worn as much as i would have wanted to and i think the reason for that is because i have one two three four five six seven eight eight more red bags i have a lot of red bags i love red as a color this one just never had an opportunity to kind of shine in my wardrobe. I think I only wore it twice. I'll insert some pictures as well. That's quite a pity. And the second time that I wore it, I overfilled it so much that it really annoyed me. So I couldn't even close it. But that's really my fault. I'm definitely going to make sure to give this one more chances in 2020 and then not to buy any more red bags. It's a deal. It's really weird because when I look in my two piles, my best purchases are pink and my worst purchases are red. Is that telling me something about me? I don't know, but I'm not sure if I'm a massive fan of red color. Let's go and talk about party dresses. Now, this is a retrofit number, a beautiful, beautiful golden dress. I love this so much. I'll try and insert pictures for everything that I'm talking about, so as well that you guys can see how I style it. If you haven't seen already, that means you're not following me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Tamara, so go and check it out, and if you like it, give it a follow so that we can get closer to a million soon. Anyway, this dress is beautiful, it's sparkling, it's always giving me such J-Lo vibes. I love what it's like at the bottom, it has that little frill, and personally, I think this is one of my favorite party dresses I own, maybe the one. If I had to choose just one, it would be this one. I absolutely love it. I would wear it every single day. <laughs> if I would lose it, I would literally go and get a new one, exact same one. Similarly, 
one of kind of bad purchases even though i got it on sale would be this rotate dress now i have few other rotate dresses that i wear a lot of the same shape and i love them and i wore them this one is just the color i guess it's the pattern i'm not really sure how much it suits me the only reason why i think it's a bad purchase is because i haven't worn it much but i think it was a little bit excessive so i would like to try and kind of i'll put it kind of forward in my wardrobe just so i wear it more because i do think it's beautiful i think it's very well fitted i love the dress so because of the black i think it could be styled quite nicely in the winter months too let's break it off with shoes a little bit because i have a lot of shoes in both categories now there's a certain style of the shoe that I've been really loving in 2019. And that's the sort of like pointed mule. These Prada ones I got, I think in June or Ju Oh my God. <laughs> I got these Prada shoes, I think in June or July in Milan. And it was a bit of a kind of like, mm, should I get them? Should I not get them? I wore them so much that I want to get a new pair. Like honestly, they were the best purchase of 2019. And similarly, I thought that then I would enjoy these Valentino ones because, I mean, like, you know, black nude, what else do you need? Yet I've never worn these. Not once. So these were a terrible purchase. In fact, I might put these on my Depop account and sell them because, look, guys, they are unworn. They're brand new, like literally untouched, okay? They're beautiful but unworn so what can i tell you um my deep of account is <laughs> going to be linked below and we give money to children in need currently we're donating to uh, children that are suffering with cancer so that they can get the adequate treatment uh, because i think that's very important just on the note of those shoes i think like in this category i'm gonna have two good purchases the others are <laughs> very well known valenciaga knife pink satin heels this is my third pair i love them so much so some would say it's a bad purchase because you had to buy three pairs instead of just one but it's my fault i wore them going out etc and these are the best shoes one of my favorite shoes most comfortable shoes most effective shoes you can wear them with jeans and look so 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 fabulous and i would repurchase them for the fourth time as well for sure 100 percent. okay let's talk about bad purchases like i'm telling you this video is gonna have some massive surprises and good purchases like of course talking about accessories so i think one of my best purchases were uh these louis vuitton earrings i love louis vuitton this year louis vuitton chanel dior uh, i don't know fendi i had so many great purchases from those brands and honestly these hoops are just so stunning i have a few other jewelry pieces that i wanted to show you in a good category i also wanted to bring these logo earrings to your attention i love them so much they're from chanel they're very expensive but i love them or these chanel ones from the beach collection uh, chanel by the sea i love them i wore them a lot i was very lucky because i got them the day that they came out so i didn't struggle um, and then the misoma ones as soon as lucy williams designed these i was like i no, I need these. Misoma is honestly so beautiful and they have the bigger and the smaller hoops as you can see. These are the big size, these are the completely different style. I will link them all below for you to check out. I've worn these throughout the year. I really, really loved all of these earrings that I've just shown you. Sadly, I think the bad sort of like purchase or an item was the love bracelet in uh, white gold not because it was a bad purchase like not because it's a not nice item or not nice gift to receive absolutely not but because this particular one kept opening it was opening for around three months i would just be walking around and my love bracelet would be open and i was like oh my god there's really something wrong with it i don't think it's right this is not correct so it was highly annoying because i was like this should not be happening this bracelet should not be like just randomly deciding to open right so it kept opening and opening and opening and eventually i was like i'm kind of like sick of this so i took it off um but eventually like now it's fine it's just that it really bothered me because very often i'd be like noticing that it just opened as it's like pinching my skin over here and i was like this is really not how it should be and then a lot of my friends who have the same have told me that they've had the same issue with this bracelet so yeah not really great chanel guys 
I had some amazing Chanel purchases this year and if I had to pull out one I would have to say it was this this 2019 was a year of my Chanel ready to wear year I bought so many Chanel ready to wear pieces and this jacket is so stunning like look at these buttons with a CC logo on it I honestly love it so much and the best of all is I got the set like a pink set of this on sale I thought it was such a good such a good investment such a good purchase and for 2020 if I could get one thing that's on my wish list and only I do not reveal my wish list but I'm gonna tell you it's going to be a Chanel tweed jacket I would love to get a beautiful Chanel tweed jacket um, because I've noticed how much I love this how much I've worn this and it was such an incredible incredible buy talking about jackets I got this one end of 2018 but I guess I could say that I had whole of 2019 to test it and I do not think I've worn it once or twice and it is the red Balmain I hate when people say Balmain blazer it is like sort of a little bit dark red or just red I don't know with golden buttons this would be my favorite kind of jacket to wear but honestly I haven't worn it at all might be the fact that I'm a little bit put off by the color red why I don't know also like I guess I have six or seven Balmain jackets like I have two white ones a blue one a black one a pink one khaki one the red one and honestly like I wear a black one the most of all of them but this one just hasn't had enough wears which is pretty sad story good jacket that I worn the life out of is this Balenciaga hourglass blazer now you might be thinking aren't hourglass blazers kind of leaving and going bye-bye but no they're not because I love this one and this print and this pattern and this color and I haven't seen it anywhere else except in Rinascente in Milan and when I saw it I was like I want this jacket I tried it on I was like I'm buying this jacket I haven't stopped wearing it honestly I haven't stopped wearing it I love it so much it's so beautiful I have another bad jacket purchase sadly it's more like a winter jacket and it's this one from Prada you might be thinking what never seen you with this jacket the reason why it's bad purchase is because the first time I tried to put it on a button fell off and I was like, God, this is really weird. It's a Prada jacket, but it doesn't have any spare buttons, you know, really strange. So I was like, okay, let me just quickly bring it to Prada today and they will for sure give me a spare button, right? Isn't that what will happen? No. So I brought it in the store and I was like, hi, the button actually didn't fall, even fall off. Because if it fell off, I would have just sewn it back on or my mom would. But what happened is that the button broke as I opened it so it was clearly a faulty button and I was like you know um so it's October and I would really like this fixed and honestly it took them six weeks to replace a button six weeks so by the time it was already December that it was done and I was so unhappy with the customer service I was like guys it's winter like I'm not gonna be wearing this in December anymore this is like something that you wear in transitional periods you know it's like a it's sleeveless so I'm not gonna be even able to wear it this season and next season it's going to be last season so are you kidding me even and they were like meh and then the guy was never picking up the phone who logged it in and then when I called the store and eventually got through they said that oh that guy doesn't work there anymore I got pretty angry at them and then they fixed it and they told me oh, actually it arrived today so overall when I went to pick it up they were very very nice but I was just so sad because I thought that was really not the customer service that I expected and then they told me don't worry we've now ordered more buttons so hopefully we should have more in I haven't worn it maybe I've worn it once but not twice for sure talking about trousers my best purchase of the year were Petar Petrov uh, leather trousers in the front they're burgundy at the back they are black and they're so flattering I wore them so much especially around fashion week I really really love them I think they're incredible and my humble opinion is that I would love more of these Petar Petrov trousers because I have another pair which is in yellow I also wore them so much and what I love about his trousers so much is they're extremely flattering big um, regards for my Bulgarian neighbor because he did an amazing job and I'm very happy about this purchase kind of bad purchase because I haven't worn them yet even though I packed them quite a few times on my trips are these Gucci trousers still hoping that the day will come and they're like beige Gucci kind of dad trousers with mini logo on I actually love them I love the idea behind them 
I just never got around wearing them even though I have a few pictures that I'll try and find and insert trust me when I say that I'm very sad that I've never really gotten around wearing them the thing with some items is like you put them on and you're like wow I feel great in this or you feel a bit like silly in this and I can't really say that I feel silly in the Gucci trousers it's just that I haven't really found an occasion for me to wear them which is sad we came almost to an end but I realized I have more good stuff to show you and not so many bad stuff okay next thing uh, from the great purchases that I have to show you is not gonna be a surprise is the Isabel Moran knit I wore this so much that nowadays when I put it on my sister says no not that knit again or like oh that knit or like yeah something like that I literally would buy this again just to make sure to have it forever I love this knit so much it's so wonderful it photographs well I want to get it in other colors too it's amazing and I cannot have enough honestly like Isabel Moran is slowly is slowly but surely becoming one of my absolute favorite brands and I love it so so much so much I have one or two more good handbag purchases to show you so next one is not necessarily a purchase because I had it gifted from Louis Vuitton it is the multi pochette accessories and it's full of stuff because I literally wear this constantly look how nice it goes with this top and this top by the way on me is also Louis Vuitton beautiful I love this I love this it's amazing it's one of the best top five things that I got in 2019 I don't know how how did I not come up with this before it's incredible love it so much even though it's very small but comparing to this purchase which I do not think was the best purchase of 2019 and I think it's kind of gonna win out a little bit from the trends now I have the pink one and I think pink one is a bit cuter whereas the black one is just a bit ineffective it's just a tiny bag that doesn't really represent much this is from Jacques Mousse a brand that I adore and I wear and I love and I think it's funny and cute maybe for evenings but I just don't think it's effective enough in this black color another good bag purchase that I have that I just had to show and mention is Chanel 19 now mine is in tweed I know a lot of people complained telling me like oh but it's such an expensive price for a new bag normally classics are more expensive and the non classics are less but hello this is the last collection that Karl Lagerfeld designed having this for me is a collector's piece this bag is absolutely incredible this is Chanel tweed that we're talking about we have some leather trimming it's navy one of my favorite colors of the season with mixed hardwares because there's a bit of silver and gold on the chain I love it my laptop fits inside there's a back pocket I have written a whole blog post about this bag I purchased this bag when it just came out I love it and I wish I got both I got this one and the other one in tweed which was like a kind of Hunstuti print but obviously like that would be a little bit excessive even for me but I love this so much I don't want it to seem like I'm just praising Chanel like crazy so I'm gonna have one of the bad purchases in Chanel too and those are these pink sandals now I got these around February this year and they're so heavy that I have not worn them enough like I mean I worn them maybe a few times but definitely not enough I think they're way too heavy for sandals and even though this pair is kind of heavy-ish too I worn these so much I want the life out of these I love them I bought them in duty free um, in May and I literally wore them whole of the summer I love them I think they're incredible they're so beautiful just look at that tweed it's a little bit iridescent even and the Chanel I love 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 these now boots best boot purchases of the year go to Pratega <laughs> Prada and Bottega Prada boot which obviously is the most popular boot of the season and the Bottega boot I was very lucky I got both of these when they just came out so I got the Prada boots in August and I got the Bottegas as soon as they were out like the runway collection honestly I wore them so much these Prada ones were at first a little bit uncomfortable to walk in created a lot of blisters for me when I broke into the Prada boots so when I wore them enough they stopped uh, giving me blisters uh, Bottega ones were extremely comfortable from day one and I really really love them bad boot purchase of the year are the Balenciaga knife boots and that's surprising because the black knife boots I wore so much that 
it's unbelievable like so much they've changed something inside and these are a little bit more uncomfortable the black ones you just like literally put on like a sock whereas these they have some elastic inside which makes them a little bit uncomfortable and for that reason they're on my bad purchases list even though i love that purpose per per purpose purple color we got to the end i have one more good purchase that i wanted to talk to you about and those are the chanel sneakers now look at them they are a little bit worn too much to be shown this close by but these are the chanel camellia sneakers they really should be washed soon i love them so much i got them randomly i saw them randomly in um Cannes boutique when i was there in may or april I think first week of May. Love them so much because they're extremely comfortable inside. They have sort of like an orthopedic cushion. I don't really know how to show you that. You won't be able to see that. There's a bit of an arching here. So they really support the foot so nicely. They're so beautiful. I love the camellias on them. And they were extremely expensive So because of camellia. So I'm actually very, very happy that I'm getting wears out of them. Bad purchases. I have only two more. I have the Bottega square toe shoes that I've never worn. Never. Not once. Uh-uh. Not once. Nope. Never. Okay? Never. And even though I have many amazing Bottega purchases, like really many of the Bottega shoes, boots, as you could have seen, this has just not ever made it. And I mean, Daniel Lee won four awards for the best designer, accessories, blah, blah, blah of the year at British Fashion Awards. So I believe that this will find its function in 2020. And I only have one more kind of bad purchase of the year, which are these Acne linen trousers. Acne is one of my favorite brands. I love it so much. But these trousers are just so difficult to maintain because for me and my lifestyle linen as a material is a no-go so every time i pack them to go somewhere they look like a freaking leaf of cabbage that i've pulled out of a suitcase and i just cannot i cannot even 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 manage anything so i really love them but i just think this material never again never unless i have a someone that can come with me constantly ironing my things but even if i would have somebody that would constantly come with me ironing my things i would feel so embarrassed and bad to ask them to do that that i would end up ironing it myself or not ironing it and then not wearing it and then that's it so yeah thank you for watching this video i really appreciate and i would love to hear what are your best and worst purchases of 2019 i am really enjoying uh filming for you guys so it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe Thank you again and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!